It's just the area code right up, you know? All right. This is Let's Chop It Up with Zaz, and we got a special guest today, man. No doubt. We got Substance 810 in the house. What's going on, fam? Salute, bro. What's popping up, my guy? Chilling, man. How you feeling, brother? How you feeling? Chilly, man, you know, just got off work, off tomorrow, I'm about to, about to fly out, man. Just came here to kick it with you, my dude. You I know? Appreciate, appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate and we got a lot to talk about, man. I'm ready, my dude, I'm ready. You no. Know? So, from artist, right, <clears throat> to Rama, picking your production, riding everything out on your own, the definition of a hustler, mm. right? Detroit's mm. own man. Word up. That's all we know is hustle, man. Yeah, word. All the love for Detroit. I'm from Port Huron, but you know, Definitely. Michigan, fit, bro. That's all we do is hustle, bro. Definitely, man. There's literally a whole store called Detroit Hustles Harder. You know what I'm saying? Wow. It may not be my hometown, but it's true as fuck. Yeah, how about that? So yeah, man, we got we got a lot to celebrate, man, tonight. Tonight we're gonna celebrate the hanging gardens, right? Substance Absolutely. 810, fully produced by Hobgoblin. My brother Hobgoblin was good, my bro. Salute the Hob. Amazing project, man. Usually I like to start with the first project of the artist, but I can't wait. I gotta get. I gotta get to that album. You know what I'm saying? Yo, love you feel like that. We gotta get That's to that. To sound album. like a sense of urgency. You know what I'm saying? Yes. No doubt. Let's talk about that, man. The Hanging mm-hmm. Gardens, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What made Substance go, yo? I want to make this album, and I want to have it produced by one of the top producers to me. One of the top producers right now in the game, period. I agree. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of it. It'd be weird because my process be different for every album. And it always, when I talk to other artists, it's a lot different than what people make, how they put together their albums. I'm realizing this time around, you know, I hit up Hob. Well, I did that verse on Warriors 3 for his album. And then he had hit me up to do another verse for his next uh, solo album that he hasn't put out yet. So I'm like, yo, we fucking, we fucking, fucking with each other, bet. So I hit him up, seeing if he wanted to work. At this time, I had no concept in mind, nothing. And that's usually how it goes. Even if I'm working with a producer, I'll just start picking the beats first. I'll start picking the beats that just, and normally people pick beats and they're like, oh, that's not like a, storytelling song that sound like this song i could do this this intentionally like wanting certain songs on the album like i don't do that i pick the beats that any words like a hook come to my head real quick when i hear the beat or the first couple words of the verse that i know that's the beat i'm like i bet i'll come back to it later and you know do my thing but that's how i pick my beats personally so i pick the beats once i had all the beats when the concept became real is um I do cover art too, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know this. I'm gonna share some real exclusive shit with you. I never told nobody this. My other name is Texture Supreme on Instagram. I did the cover art for like a bunch of it, but the most recent like Apollo Brown and Shea Noir, as God intended, I did that cover art, right? Wow. So I'm looking up cover, I'm looking up art and shit. So I'm doing uh, some art for somebody. And I was looking up like, biblical art and stuff like that and then i stumble upon the hanging gardens but in babylon and i'm reading a story how it's considered one of the ancient wonders of the world but nobody knows where it is anymore and if it even existed and how the hanging gardens was comprised of these like irrigation systems that that like watered down 
like levels and shit and all this intricate shit that shouldn't have been able to be done back then. So I just get wild interested. I'm like, this shit is dope. So at that point, I made up my mind, I'm gonna make an album about this. But then I thought about it like, damn, how am I gonna make it interesting, right? Because my homie, shout out to my dude, Jamil Honesty. He hit me up after the album drop. He like, dog, I wanna fight you, nigga. Like, I never heard an album so dope about plants, right? And when you break it down to its simplest form, I mean, that's what it is. It's, it's literally about the hanging. And so that's what I did. I, I thought, how can I make the hanging gardens dope? Because it's an interesting story to me. I wanted to shed light on it. So I said, I right, bet I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, what, what's within the hanging gardens, you know, growth, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, you know, seeds, plants. And then I started thinking, oh, okay, bet I could, I could just take this so far where, you know, I'm going to have to taper myself down and not make it corny, not do too much. You know what I mean? So that, so then I made up my mind. That was the first thing. I'm going to drop little lyrics here and there, references that tie into the Hanging Gardens. And uh, I made From a Seed first. I usually don't even make the intro first. Didn't even know it was going to be the intro. Just made the song From a Seed first. So that was the first concept. I wrote the song and I'm just writing with the intent to drop plant references here and there. And I end up saying from the seed. And I'm like halfway through the song and, I'm, and then I write, I write, cause I write in my phone. I don't even write on the pad no more, yeah. like for years now. So I go up in my phone, I'm writing a verse and I name it from the seed. So then I'm thinking and I'm like, bet. So I'm like half, I'm like done with the first verse, writing this little, that little bridge harmony part. Then I think, yo, I want grass out and scratch on this shit. So then I remembered that I put out chess pieces and on Fisher and Spassky, I said, um, water the seed, gave it time to grow. And now it's bearing fruit to so bountiful. So that's me from 2020 chess pieces. And I just take, give uh, the acapella the grasshopper and he just chop it up. Mm -hmm. And nigga, he's ill like that for one, you know what I'm saying? And, and we also, we do that a lot. Sometimes I'll do a song and have him take shit had lyrics from that same song the acapella of me and the other guy to make the hook on that song to just to make odds to empower ourselves instead of you know taking somebody else legendary stuff we want to make ourselves know like before anybody else recognizes us like that you know so that was the first song i made i made up my mind at that point and then that's where the idea came from to you look at all the names it, there's a lot, you know, it's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. You look at it as from a seed is the first one and harvest is the last one. That's intentional. Yeah. And then I you see that. things like majestic and, you know, uh, mother earth, you know, about my mother, that's a double meaning. And then that's why the baby song is right after it. A lot of people think that's my birth. It's not, it's a completely fictional song. But people who know me actually know my mother is very fair skinned. She looks Caucasian, but she's black. And my, my father's, not super dark, but he's but he looks black. So like, that's how this shit came about, bro. And I and I literally just, I'll be working on a bunch of shit at a time. So I was working on making waves, hanging gardens, my next joint with a Najee Jordan, and a fourth one that's already done that I'm just keeping in the tuck. I'm working on all four of these from the top of last year. Wow! I just released them as I was finishing them, but that works good for me. Cause I can hop over here, whatever mood I'm in, I'm doing this today. It got to the point where it's like, I'm in the mood to be creative in the sense of this, this kind of conceptual and, this, and ideas are coming to me like that. I'm gonna work on hanging gardens today. If I just felt like rapping and being bar heavy, some, some dirty hip hop shit, that's, that's how you got making waves. You know what I'm saying? It's literally just that. It's like, nigga, this shit gonna shake the ground. This shit is just raw rap bars. If you ain't come for it, don't check for the album. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But then I had to follow up with something more. You know what I mean? I'm always thinking about my name, bro. I want to give people what they came for with me. You know what I mean? Definitely. But well, you definitely uh, do that, man. Oof. Because that, that right there, I mean, you just gave us a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. So we gave you gave us the Universal Substance 810 on this album. It's crazy because a lot of people said that. My homie, shout out to Jamil again. He said I brought him to Michigan. And I didn't even understand that. But now I see it's just certain things I say and moods and stuff like that on the album. You don't hear other places and other regions and stuff like that. And it's really personal and shit. Man, I'm just, I'm happy that it fucking went through with what I intended it to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
yeah, came out right high on time with that. That was right on. I was supposed to be. And the timing was good as well, no doubt. Definitely, man. You know, I'm a fan of Hobgoblin, man. That's what you said. Word, me too. You know, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like he brings the best out of artists. That's why, you know, when you hear the Spoda on with with Hobgoblin, oh man, that that was amazing. You know, right. you, yourself with Hobgoblin is like, I feel like, and I know you can contest to this, you know, that when you have a producer that the minute you hear his music, you go, this is it. Yeah. Right away. It's rare. It's very rare, bro. You know, where they'll send you batches and you go, I like, 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 I like everything, man. I don't it'd be know like how to what pick I, it. It'd be like with with cats like Hob, they send he sent me a batch of five, ten or so at the most, and I like everything. It's like at this point in the creating this album, what fits? What do I need right now? More times to be with me, do my tone fit? I'll start rapping on it in my head. If I hear it, I'll rap on it out loud a little bit. There'd be a lot of beats that I used to just get because they were dope and kind of hoard them, knowing that I can't, my tone don't fit. I'm not going to be able to pronunciate out of my mouth what I hear in my head on this on this joint. I'll be getting better at that, though. You know what I'm saying? And I noticed the albums come out a lot better, yo. Like, this is straight book. I mean, this, this album here, man, I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional because I know Hobgoblin sometimes, you know, his beats kind of go like that. Like when you think they're going to go like this, they go <laughs> right back up and Absolutely. take it to another level. Right. There's Absolutely. no, there's no comparison to that. You know what I mean? So, you know, put that, put, put, put that together. Mm. And I feel like because those beats are so phenomenal, you know, you have to show and prove. You can't half-ass a Hobgoblin beat, bro. No. There got to be certain people on them. You got to say certain things, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be rapping on beats like that. This is drums for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... Ah, the shit, some shit just... Some people just know... Some people just got an ear, bro. And, you know, me and my child, my dude Chuck Chan, produced Chuck pieces, like, uh, sorry, chess pieces. We... We prefer dirty shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how cats would be mixing, you know, you take a little bit of the crackle out. No, no, nigga, no. Amplify that shit. Like, turn the crackle up. Like, we want to hear the dirt and the dust. Like, and Hobbs shit is just, it's, yo, the shit just wrong, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, instantly inspiring, you know what I mean? I'll say it again. It's just, the problem is, like, not picking beats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And letting beats go and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think I, th- I could have swore I passed on a beat that ended up on that Vinnie Paz album that just dropped. And I was so sick. And when I heard the shit, I was like, I-, I, can't, I almost wanted to go back and look, but I don't even want to disappoint myself like that. Yeah, yeah. But that's how, that's how this shit go. He got yeah. so many, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's definitely crazy. But um, yeah, man, he definitely, he best, he definitely bought the best out in you. To me, I don't know if you remember, but KRS-One dropped this album called Chris. K-R-I-S, right? I don't remember. It's called yeah. Chris. Now go back and check that album out. To me, that's that's KRS's one best album ever. That's, that's his best album ever that he put wow. out. You know what I'm saying? Because Chris is giving you the boom bap, right? The 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 because he's the creator of the boom bap, man. So yeah. you got that, you got the bass, you got the drums, and then you got Chris just demolishing the track. So to me, you know, it's like it's like you're Chris, and Hobgoblin is Chris the producer. <laughs> right Word. so because because of that it, it, when i when i it, when i heard that song i was like yo that's 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 that that's it's called chris styles that's the name of the album 
Now that sounds more familiar. Yes. I remember I remember thinking about the champagne when I seen the title. So listen. I was thinking to myself, I've never heard just Chris. Chris Styles. Yes. Now I remember this. Chris Styles. That I thought he changed his name or some shit. Man. Now I remember. I so, never I, I, I gotta go back and re-listen though. I'm telling you, man. So to mm. me, when I heard that, I heard I heard you drumming on the beats, right? Bra. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um Man, you definitely felt comfortable on that album, brother. A lot of his joints is my pockets. You know, everybody, every rapper got their preferred tempo. You know, definitely try to move around. There was joints like like uh, Marvel of Mankind. I did that intentionally because people said I don't usually rap on slow beats. Yo, we want to hear you on some slow beats, hear what you're saying more. So I picked that beat intentionally and I usually wouldn't, you know. But my preferred shit is like shit like the Hanging Gardens and From a Seed. Those are my favorite type of pockets, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't even think what it is, but it's probably somewhere between 82, 85 BPM. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. 83, 85. I just, that's just, that's where I like to be for the most part. And a lot of his shit, like it was just a good marriage, bro. Some, some producers and rappers, just like DJs and rappers, they just go hand in hand, bro. Like peanut butter and jelly and shit. Yes, yes. The shit just fits like a glove, you know what I'm saying? That's the best way I can say it. Definitely, man. And you know when that happens, I mean, I mean, you get you get amazing music. I I call it when when I say something like I call it amazing music, man. That means that it's amazing music, bro. Like I never heard it. It's official first time. Boom, right? Um, and when I when I hear that album, it's it's like hard, man. Like when you talk about you you know the Mother Earth. Mm. That one hit that one hits home. Facts. Cause you Facts. go, I mean, you go deep into it, man. I, always, I I that's intentional, bro. I promised myself years ago to just be honest. Sometimes I'm too honest. People, well, you know, I may think, but I've never heard people say that. I just feel it all, bro. You know what I mean? It's therapy. I'll actually let my mom hear that song. Uh when I first got the mix back before I put the album out, I just called her on FaceTime. I just played it like, yo, I want to hear this song. I just did, didn't tell her what it was. Song play up, man. I started saying her name, bro. She just cries right in front of me. You know what I mean? Like gas, grab her mouth, like incredible moment. You know what I mean? And she still thanks me now. Like, I can't believe I got a song like out forever to the world. You know, it's crazy. That song is, uh, it's a heavy, it's heavy, man. You know, and the album is like a ride, man. You know, 30 minute adventure, yo, for real. The trip. That's how I want people to take it in. It's a whole concept, it's a whole book and adventure. It's a story. Put that motherfucker when you're on the highway for a little, at least 30 minutes, and man, it just ride out and let it ride top to bottom. It's gonna tell you, it's gonna tell you a whole tale, you know. Hey. Word up. So I think that all the attributes that would that are needed to create. A phenomenal album. You know? Beats, scratches, lyrics, concepts. I think somebody told me, one person in review that said the hooks was weak, and that was the only thing. You know what I'm saying? The hooks was weak. Yeah, somebody said the hooks was or one hook was weak. I can't remember which one it was. Mm. I ain't really, I, you know, I don't know. Some people... That's a big preference thing I've noticed. From person to person, a hook can mean way more. You know, some people get mad if you repeat the same four bars for eight bar hook. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you should do something different on that. You know, you should say you should you shouldn't even fly the hook and have the same hook again. You should do it again with different emotion. People be real opinionated on on choruses and hooks for some reason. I don't know. Certain people. You know, yeah, what you I mean? know, you know, I can't, what? Even, I can't even say that's him because besides that, the review was fucking phenomenal. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I can't remember what joint it was. Now I don't want to know. Now I don't look to see. <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest with you, man. You got, you got, you got a group of kids out there, man. That they really dissect. Absolutely, I mean, like they're paying attention. Oh, bro, the Did reviewers you see how these days I've never did? seen. It. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yes, they got scales and graphs and. It's real, man. systems and rating systems, bro. Shout out to my dude, Food Sick. 
Uh, shout out to, I think it's Cree, C A T Reviews. That's how he pronounced C T, C E A T Reviews and Food Sick. Man, they always been rocking with me. It's just a couple other people I can't even think of off the top of my head, review wise. Hip hop journalist or something is a new cat. I can't remember his name, but yo, those two cats, crazy. Grading systems, personal <laughs> enjoyment score with the <laughs> with, the, with the uh the five star system or whatnot. It's and the, or the grading system A through you know A through B <laughs> or whatever A through E. It's wild, man. Oh man, it's dope though. You know what I mean? Nah, like, you know what? It. it is dope though because. You know, so some of these some of these kids will be saying something that later on, you mess around and switch the pitch, man. That shit could be a big one. That's the that's why it's even saying it's dope. Don't even give it enough credit. It's um, it's very it's very vital. The type of information that you can get, non biased information from from a straight up third party that you don't know personally, has given you the raw opinion. It's feeling that they're getting from the music and they and then they're giving you their real like feedback it's priceless bro you know what i'm saying usually that's thoughts in people's head that they don't share with you you don't give them, ever get to hear if you listen and then listen to all of that pick the best things out man and you know not be too prideful to to maybe try out something on the next go round and, and see how that hit yeah yeah you it, know it, what? it works out bro and as an artist, you know, I mean, we, we shouldn't take that type of response from someone that's actually supporting you, right? Because yeah. they wouldn't they, they wouldn't be hearing your music if they didn't support you. So 100%. to me, you know, we shouldn't get mad or get upset, you know, for somebody's input because that input can help us later on in life, you know, 100%. possibly take your career to the next level. So, you know, I think that, I think that, you know, those, those kind of kids, they're the ones that do that, that take a lot of time, man, because they can't come up with that information by just looking at your song, man. They got to go line for line. Like shout out the legends will never die. That's what I meant to say. Underground hip hop blog, shout out to them. Shout out the legends will never die. He's from Michigan as well. Okay. That guy, bro, he will like, first time he did a review, He's the only person ever. And now everybody copies his review. That's funny. I bet you he'll laugh if he sees this. Mm. Everybody copies this review because when he first reviewed me, he's like, a uh, substance that used to go by technique this year and put out the definition in 2006 and used to be signed to this independent label. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just like, like he knew everything. Like, you know that dude, Nardward or whatever his name yeah. is? That dude, <laughs> yo, he, he like Nardward me and shit. Like, I'm like, yo. And it's been ill ever since. Nothing but love, bro. Like, and his reviews is always very unbiased and, and real. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, it's like you getting real feedback, bro. Breaking everything down. I appreciate it personally. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It takes a I don't lot really, of time, man. It takes a lot of time. It takes hours for them cats, I'm sure. I just don't like the cats that be trying to just stir up shit. Just to say some controversial shit. That ain't really how they be feeling. It's a couple cats out there that do that, too. Yeah. You're going to have a bad couple bad apples out there. Yeah, of course. What are you gonna do, man? They're gonna do you know? they don't last too long either, those kind of cats. Nah, yeah, 300 followers and shit. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that's 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 crazy, man. But let's go back. Let, let not you know, because I wanted to start there, right? So you know what? Mm -hmm. Let's just go backwards. So chess pieces, man. No doubt. Shout out to my dude Chuck Chan, man. Home team. That right there, you was you was. You knew what kind first, of artist you wanted to be. That was the first time in a long time. You know, I had all them albums before that, but that was the first time in a long time where I did a conceptual album. Hanging Gardens was me being like, yo, I enjoy doing chess pieces. Let me do it again on a, on a bigger scale, even better. Yeah, but chess pieces definitely inspired that conceptually wise. Yeah, because I just, I made that cover art, you know what I mean? So I made that cover art and... Fresh is one of my favorite movies. And you know what I mean? Like one of Chuck's too. And that's how that shit was born, real easy. I love chess, play chess. And that shit was born easy like that. And it just ended up being six joints just out of convenience, you know what I'm saying? Because it was recorded so fast. There's so much backstories behind the shit, you know? Yeah, that's wild. You know what I mean? Like, that is wild. It's a lot of crazy shit. Like some joints was partially finished and 
I finish joints off and add this here and there. And, you know Definitely. what I mean? Like, there's a lot of, it was a couple of that going on. Regal Rooks, tactical motifs like that. Actually, them was the only two joints. Everything else I just, I just created from the bottom up. But most of the beats was old, like mad old. Shit niggas slept on, didn't pick and shit. I'm hearing okay. shit like, well, that's, like, lay your king down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember somebody saying, like, yo, I heard that a couple of times. I can't believe, like, fuck. Like, I heard that shit for the first time. Like, heard the crackle from the fucking drums. That shit just sound like you're crunching up a fucking paper bag. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they could chuck that's shit grindy, man. That's that fly shit, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Dirty shit. Man, What's brother. That, that You definitely bring that gutter, man. Definitely bring that gutter. Appreciate it, yo. Now make, making ways, man. It's it's just it was just straight up. It's like a bar fest. You know what I mean? That's all that was. It was. It was like when people do a photo dump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when people do a photo dump from over a trip or something. They post like 24 letters. That, that was a bar dump. That was just like a free for all, straight bar fest. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. wasn't a lot of concepts or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like. Niggas just rapping, man. Just fucking gladiator sport. Gladiator sport. Shit. How about yeah. that? No doubt. Man, the definition of, man. I like that. Mm. That was before both of them, matter yes. of fact. Yes. That was 2020 in June. Oh, that was, that was me. I was inspired by the first. My first album was The Definition with a cover that was hand-drawn by my dude, Mike Melton from Port Huron. And, you know what I'm saying? My, my name was different back then. So this is like inspired by that. Totally new songs. Same cover and flipped in a different way. You know what I mean? But the original picture, I just flipped it up. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But that explains that, you know? That I literally is... remember, bro, recording that joint, hearing cats like Jay Royale. Shout out to Jay Royale, man. Uh, Jamil Honesty, Rome, Rome Streets, Daniel Sun. Hearing all these cats, so I'm just coming off that break from 2016. I'm seeing how the culture moving, how that renaissance was starting, what we call it now, and everything that was happening. I'm getting excited, bro. And I'm like, bro, it's time. I'm, I'm like, it's, I'm coming in. And I remember reaching out to motherfuckers, and it just, by God's grace, it just happened. You know what I'm saying? It's just my determination and hustle, just everything lined up the right way. And that was fucking ended up being the album I wanted it to be for sure, for sure. And got shit kicked off nice. And then I was just, I only had to maintain it from then and keep turning up further. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that was that shit was, definitely let people know, like, oh, this shit real. That was on point, man. That was definitely on point. And you Appreciate know, you had you had a cut, you know, you, you had the uh awesome two. Yeah, yeah, awesome yeah, yeah, two yeah, joints. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out the grasshopper, yo. Like, he wild with it, bro. Yeah, ain't that something? You know, all this shit. So I could either send him a joint and be like, this is the vibe of it. This is the, this, this concept. And he'll find some cuts to fit it. And all his cuts always rhyme to like an actual hook. They always rhyme. If you pay attention, all they rhyme, they rhyme like fucking like he rhyming. So he either find something that fits, just tell him to do his thing. Or, you know, like I said earlier, give him an acapella from that song and have him chop it up into a hook or acapella from another joint that fits that, have him, have him cut it up. Bro, he's so ill with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he thought about all that. I only told him the, the main part about From a Seed. All of that under the sun in the background and the that's, other parts he added in, that's him. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's him just amazing. going dumb. He's wild with it. Shout out the grasshopper. He's crazy, bro. That's that's crazy, yeah. man. That's crazy, man. How about the foot? The four? The fortified joint? That single? I like that joint. Shit, hard body. I produced that too. Produced like five or six joints on the on the definition, and wow. making waves. You know, between like about, that. about five or so. Okay. Yeah, I produced that shit. Primo spun that shit twice. Salute to DJ Premier, man. Like April and March. Wow. Mm. Getting, getting spins from the from the gods, man. <laughs> Buffy, this shit, double salute. Yo, how Rip. about that, man? How about that? Shit, man. 
So, for real. so what, what's next, man? What, what's next for you? Oh, man, about to finishing up this joint. Shout out to Najee Jordan. You know, we got this joint, A Righteous Offering. That's what it's called. It's going to be another concept album. It's going to be just that. You know what I'm saying? Got some ill skits. I got on my skit game. God level skits in this motherfucker, man, that, that tie in <laughs> as well. There you so, go. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have the same familiarity, familiarity of, of little hints here and there that tie into a righteous offering and song titles that tie into it. And it's going to be some some dope ass skits. Take them for a ride, record. man. Take them for a ride, brother. Yeah. Besides that, about to start getting on these shows, bro. Like, shout out to my dude, Bobo, my tour manager, man. And, um, about to start trying to get over. We lining some shit over in Europe right now. I'm trying to like, nice. You know, y'all promoters see me, book me. We trying to get yes. over there, like Amsterdam, Switzerland, a couple other places, uh, Barcelona. It's probably a spot I'm not mentioning. Belgium, of course. Right, that's where Grasshopper is. That's where a lot of my support is from. You know, nice. we trying to touch them places. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's definitely. The move, to be honest, I'm only thinking about the albums I got lined up. And trying to get over there and perform. That's all I'm worried about. You know okay. what I'm saying? You could do it, man. You could do it. Yeah. You'll Easy. See it. You know? No doubt. I already know what's going to happen. It's just when. You know what I mean? Like, trying That's to make okay, a week man. full, like five, seven days full. I don't just want to go there and come right back, be there for a little whole five, seven days. Whole there shit go. go. Huh? And I was checking out your, you know, your, your, your social medias and everything. You know, it's like, you know, the way the way you do your thing, it's like you have a service. People would think that it's people doing it for you. I know. I've, I've been told that a lot. I don't got no manager, no nothing. All I got is a publisher. And that's it. That's Amen. what I'm saying. So it's like one of those things like, wow, you know, he does all that on his own. Yep. But, um, man, you, you could be doing that too later on in life, man. You know, give people, you know. Appreciate that. Like, do this, yeah. you know, do that. You know what I mean? This is, it worked. It works. I give a lot of advice, bro, to be yeah, honest. Like, heavy, I, mean, I get a game presence. out for free now, man. There's certain people, you know, like, a lot of people that I fuck with, man, they grind and they ask me certain things, man. I fucking tell them anything I know, bro. Anything I know found out, you know? There's a lot of ways, bro, that you can get shit cracking. Like, you know, people think, like, say, getting your blue check got something to do with followers or nothing. They don't got shit to do with no followers, no nothing like that. This has got a, something to do with, like, timing. Certain type of events happening and the perfect little storm happening and you submit for that, you know, at the right time. You have your publisher do it. You don't do it through your page. Like, that's game right there. You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. For people who know, you know what I mean? Like, that's how you make that type of shit happen. But there's a lot of shit like that. Like, I just figured that shit out, man. You got to, like, figure out how to get around the algorithms and shit. Because Instagram and them don't want people to see your stuff. Like, no, no, they, they don't. Some ads here and there and, and use hashtags and you got to do what you got to do, man, and get up on a popular page and, and get in front of people. Like, right? because they don't want you to be there. You just got to beat it. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's just definitely like a, like a whole process. And I think you mastered it. And I think that uh, it's paying off for you, man. You know? Appreciate it, yo. No doubt. I was checking out your website. Your website looks 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 nice, man. You know, I did that, I did that joint too, man. It's crazy. <laughs> How about <Yeah>. that? <laughs> it's Van Zugel, man. Shout out to Van Zugel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's why I canceled my band camp, right? You know how band camp have band camp Fridays, whatever. Yeah. It's like, where it's free. If you just go to Van Zugel, which is made. For, for hip for music artists, right? All their templates is made for music, already set up. All you gotta do is pay a hosting fee for the year, bro. And you collect, they collect no fees all year long. All your money is yours. Wow, look at that. You can have everything there, you know what I'm saying? You can have everything in one place, you know? All your fucking merch, your albums, your music, your, your videos, your bio, your press kit, build a mailing list off it, take your mailing list off Bandcamp, put yeah. yeah, how about Peace. that? No doubt. Yeah, that's that's good game right there, man. Definitely got game. You gotta do it, man. I gotta 
people got to get their worth. You know what I'm saying? Like independent artists, bro, we invest too much not to get as much as we can back to put put it back into ourselves. That's how we got to get these people, this these uh classic albums, so-called and all that, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely got to do that. So, yeah, my brother, we wanted to bring you up here today, man, and praise you to tell you that we appreciate you. Hip hop appreciates what you do. Uh, keep doing it and keep bringing it. We'll be rooting for you. And, you know, it's all good, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate your time, bro. Appreciate you checking in with me. Sure won't be the last time. Oh, you know yeah, me? man. You know, we fam now, brother. So you stuck, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, before I go, you in, you in NYC or... I'm originally from New York, but currently I'm in Philadelphia. Philly. That ain't far from, I'll be going out. You know where Ole in is? Ole in New York and Western New York, kind of by Rochester and Buffalo. Okay. About an hour from Buffalo in Western, in Western NY. Okay. I, I, I could swore Pennsylvania ain't that far. I might even. Pennsylvania is not that far. Yeah. It's not, is it? No. Say less, man. I might pull up in real life, B. Oh, there you, you know go. Man? Yeah, hey, man, you're more than welcome, fam. Yeah, you know I mean? Hit me I gotta up, go man. out there. I go, I always go out there. That's my dude, Chuck Chan, and everybody from man, do Tennessee, Chuck Chan. Okay. A couple of the home team guys out there. I'll be out there, man. We're going out there like Juneteenth for the Black Fest that they do out there. Okay, Juneteenth. Celebrate yeah. Juneteenth. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I will be out there for that weekend. You know what I'm saying? Might slide out to Rochester or Buffalo while I'm there, but probably just be chilling there, kicking it with the guys. But there you go. No doubt. Now I know you're not too far. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hit me up, man. We'll set it up. You already know. All right. Absolutely. Yo, this was Let's Chop It Up with Zaz. And today we had a special guest. Substance A10. It's uh (coughs) peace. Dose. You're, you're, you're rocking with the hottest radio show on the internet. Tap, tap, tap in radio with us. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, what up? It's Fat Father. Yeah. Live from the east side of Detroit, Michigan. And Fat right Father. in the right place. So let's Five chop miles. it up with Zaz. And tap in radio. Yeah. Middle finger music, yo. I'm not your ordinary soccer dad. I can take the grass from a proper bag, roll it in a zag, take a proper drag, get that toe a tag if he poppin' trash. Don't put the pressure on the gas just to watch it crash. I deliver fast like Jimmy John's demigod status. Y'all little niggas Terry on, never been savage. Acting, ain't never been trapping, ain't never seen action, ain't never been chosen to function as team captain.